Ah, the humble spud, a staple of diets across the globe and a joy to grow in your own garden. When it comes to potatoes, the best fertilizer isn't just something you chuck on the soil and hope for the best. It's an art form of balance, understanding, and a little bit of green thumb intuition. First off, potatoes are known for being fairly easy to grow. But easy to grow doesn't mean you'll get that picture-perfect crop without a bit of effort. They are heavy feeders and need plenty of nutrients to produce a good yield. The key ingredients you're looking at for any good fertilizer are nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. But for potatoes, it's all about timing and the right composition. You want something with a lower nitrogen content to avoid too much foliage growth at the expense of the spuds. A balanced October 10th 10 NPK fertilizer applied at planting can do the trick to get things going. But here's the rub. As the tubers start to form, you'll want to ease up on the nitrogen and bump up the potassium. This is where a fertilizer with a higher potassium content, such as a May 10th 10 or even August 24th 24, can come in handy because potassium is like the potato's best friend. It strengthens the plant, helps in water retention, and generally supports a better overall yield. If you're into organic methods, well-composted manure is an excellent choice. It's like the slow-release kind of energy drink for plants. You can also opt for a side dressing of bone meal for phosphate, which promotes strong root development. Remember, with any fertilizer, more is not always better. Stick to the recommended rates or you'll risk harming your plants. Too much nitrogen and you get all plant, no potato. Too much potassium and your potatoes can end up with those unsightly dark spots inside. And here's a bit of local flair. Out here in Portland, Oregon, we get plenty of rain which can leach away nutrients. So a little extra potassium can be particularly helpful for us Northwesterners to prevent those deficiencies. There you have it. Patience, the right balance of nutrients, and you'll have a potato crop that'll make you the envy of your neighborhood come harvest time. Whether you're frying, baking, or mashing them, there's nothing quite like the taste of a homegrown potato. Now go out there and get your hands dirty.